Good afternoon, traders. It's John Carlo here. Just uh, about to get started with this today. Uh, and we are going to give it about a minute or so. Just let everybody funnel in, and then I will show everybody how to use the trade panel in Edge Products today. All right, let's uh, let's get started. Derivative trading carries a high degree of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So the agenda for today, I'll be going through an intro to Edge Pro X and intro to Edge Clear, and then I'll show you how to use the trade panel and then I can take a uh, Q&A. So any questions you may have about anything with Edge Pro X, uh, I'll be there to answer that for you. <clears throat> what is Edge Pro X? Edge Pro X is an all-in-one solution for active traders with MBO capabilities, volume profile, and TPOs, native order flow tools with a fully functional 300 plus studies and indicators. We have indicator layering, native to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, runs on Rhythmic, CQG, or IQ feed. All these features are available for the low price of $34.99 per month. What else does Edge Products offer? We offer a heat map, volume profile, uh, volume imprint, TPO and market profile, advanced DOM, simulated trading, replay mode, cross instrument trading, cloud levels, Edge Pro line, OHLC lines, time and sales, and 300 plus uh, built in studies and indicators, like I mentioned. What is EdgeClear? EdgeClear is an independent futures broker. We're created by traders for traders. We have an award-winning team, multiple clearing relationships with Ironbeam, Dorman, and Philip Capital. Uh, we have an experienced team here, and our founder is Future Trader 71. Uh, we are continuously building and innovating. We have, uh, we're all trader inspired here. So let's just dive right into it. How to use the trade panel. So uh, let's start with how to access the trade panel first. So there's two ways to access the trade panel. The trade panel can be accessed by heading to the view and then selecting or hovering over the display and pressing the trade panel. You'll see it pops up over here on the right. Another way to access this would be uh, this money symbol right here, this dollar bill at the top. If you select this uh, dollar sign symbol, you'll see the trade panel appears again. And I also realized now that you can actually do this with the control T button, or oops, alt T actually, I think it was what it was. Let's check. Yes, alt T actually pulls up the tra uh, trade panel as well. So let's try that out. And there you go. So. Those are the three ways that you can access the trade panel. And now I'll just go through with how to use it and um, all the different functionality within uh, this area here. So under the positions tab, under quantity, what this is, is just, this is just going to be the number of uh, lots that you'll enter into whatever contract. So for example, I'm, I'm on the NQ right now. So this will be, uh, the number of contracts that I want to enter into uh, on the NQ specifically. And then you can change here, good to cancel or day uh, orders, um, orders with GTC, uh, those should last until they're canceled. And then uh, the day orders, those should cancel at the end of the day. So you can configure that right here. The next thing down, uh, this is to enable or attach uh, exit strategies. So if I turn this on, you'll notice that now if I click you know, on the chart here, that it places now bracket strategies here. So this is what this does. Um, and if I were in a trade already, let's say I were 
to go along here. Let's zoom in. You'll notice that if I turn this on, I actually can enable bracket strategies. So I can basically paste in the strategies that I have under the specific configurations on the chart, and it'll put those there for me. So that's what this is. Uh, that's what's done here. Now you have buy market, sell market. I'm sure you know everybody here knows what that is. Um, buy at the ask or sell at the ask, and then buy at the bid or sell at the bid. So you have the, these buttons here where you can buy, enter or uh, exit positions accordingly. Um, under the flatten all, uh, this should close uh, the positions at market price. So if you were to select this, this should close uh, the positions you have on at the market. Uh, cancel all, this should cancel uh, any working orders that you have uh, on at the time. So let's just show that real quickly. So now you have this that's highlighted. If I select cancel all, now the order goes away and this will work for or at least it should work for multiple orders. So let's put on three now uh, and then hit cancel and now they went away as so. <clears throat> now we have uh, break even in reverse. Uh, the break even button, what this does is this should create an exit order at the break even price. So if we, let's just do a sell market. Uh, if I do break even, this is has a, uh, well, I just moved away pretty far. So, We'll just uh, select reverse then. So now I can hit reverse and that reverses the position. But like I said, the break even had a uh, exit order at the break even price. And then the reverse button here, what that does is this exits the current position and enters into the opposite position that you were in currently. So but let's show the flatten all button, I guess. So now we get this um error message not error message but a warning message saying hey this is going to close out all the orders that you have open right now so we accepted that <clears throat> continuing down though simulated and then if you select here we have our live account i have this blocked out so we have the simulated in the live account you can go back and forth and, and uh, toggle that here um position uh this will show the positions that you have on so if we have four and I buy at market, you'll see four at the entry price that you're at. And then you have your PL here as well. So let's close these out. So here, this action will close all positions for the MQM2 at market price. Do you wish to continue? Yes. And you can obviously turn that off so that you don't, if you're trying to enter and exit rapidly, you wouldn't have to worry about um, selecting yes every single time. Continuing forward here, order. Uh, this is an order ticket. So this is how you would place limit orders uh, into and uh, buy limit orders and sell limit orders. So let's, if we hit buy, you'll see here uh, quantity. So you have a um, the quantity, the number of orders that you want to uh, enter into. And then you have the display quantity, which is going to display the quantity that you want it to. So um, as we increase this, you can uh, make this appear as a different number, um, but this is going to be ultimately what you're entering into here. Oops, that's, no, oh, no, okay. So then this is ultimately what it's gonna be entering into here. Uh, the type of order, you can change the type of order here. Um, obviously, in my opinion, it would probably be best if you're gonna enter at market to do it via the positions tab but all other orders, if you're trying to get a specific entry or exit price, the best way to do that, in my opinion, would be to do it through the order tab. So you can select the uh, market limit, stop, uh, market if touched, and a trailing stop as well. Uh, and uh, you can type in the limit price here or uh, the price that you want to have uh, the order at. Uh, the expires, as we went over this in the last tab, you have the day or get to cancel. And then you can actually attach uh, orders to this as well. So you can have uh, targets, stops, or, or you can have a trailing stop as well. And this trailing stop is done, I believe, as ticks. So, or yeah, as ticks or points. So this would trail by two and a half uh, points. So this is uh, the order tab. And uh, you can obviously configure the simulated or live account there at the bottom. And the same thing is going to be for the sell side, um, but let's just discard all of that and move forward. 
buy and sell. So now uh, I believe my data cut out, uh, and I'm not sure why, but uh, nonetheless, we can continue forward. So this tab, buy and sell, is just to buy or sell at market. Um, there's no other features on this tab except for buying and selling at market. And you'll see if the data was connected, let's see if we can disconnect and reconnect to this. Connect. So if we reconnect it, you'll actually see this moving now. Uh, it looks pretty funky with the NQ because it moves so quickly, but um, right now you have it showing the different prices and you can buy or sell depending on you know what you want to do and whatnot. So and you can increase the quantity size in the middle here. So that's the trade panel and there's settings here, uh, not many settings, but um, you can change the location of this. If you wanted to put this on the left side, you'll see that you can change that as so. Uh, exit attach, so you can configure this to be at either the, so essentially what this does is when you have your uh, strategy orders, so let's close this because, and we'll, so the paste button here, what that this is doing is this is saying, do you want to paste in the strategy based on the entry price or based on the last price on the screen? And so I keep it configured to entry price. Uh, show order ticket panel when selecting order. So that's um, the order column and then show PL. Obviously, I'm sure we all know what that is. Uh, and then you have your exit strategy, so you can configure your exit strategies from this window here. All right, so that is the trade panel. Um, was there any questions that anybody had about the trade panel? Or uh, if there's no questions on the trade panel, I can also take questions on Edge products as a whole. And you can just type that into the chat. But while we wait, uh, let's jump back to our PowerPoint. And uh, so there were no questions submitted prior to the, the walkthrough today or the, the webinar. So um, any questions from the audience, just submit those in the chat box and I'll tackle those uh, in a moment. But if uh, you don't have questions now, feel free to visit our knowledge base. Uh, we do have a pretty hefty knowledge base. It's growing on a daily basis. Uh, we're constantly adding new things in there to make sure that we cover as much material as possible to help with learning the platform. So you can head to support.educator.com to get there. Uh, all these videos that I've done in the past are all recorded. You can head to youtube.com slash edgeclear and view those there. Uh, if you have questions, you can also email us at edgeproducts.edgeclear.com or give us a call at 773-832-8320. Uh, that's all I had for everybody today, but um, if there are questions, feel free to ask me now. And if not, this can be a relatively short webinar today. All right. Sweet. Awesome. All right. Doesn't look like we have any questions. So uh, we'll just end this one earlier today. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming out today and uh, look forward to hearing from anybody that's uh, here today. Have a great one. Cheers.